last spring you were asked your opinion on global warming. You said you would look at it. Now that you've had time to do so, would you agree with 97% of the world's climate scientists who believe that global warming trends are going to be human activity? Um, well, when I say I'll look at it, I think we need more years in to determine whether we have trends here. I don't think the global temperatures have gone up uh, by very much over the last dozen or so years. Um, I think if you look over a period of history, you know, there are cold years and warm years and cold decades and warm decades and cold centuries and warm centuries. Um, when I was a, in high school or college, they talked about global cooling. And there were scientists who were quoting Newsweek magazine or such um, saying we're going to have a huge catastrophe by now. That they wouldn't be able to grow wheat in Canada because it was going to be so cold in Canada, and therefore we're going to have, you know, facing maybe world starvation. And I can't remember what they recommended doing at that time, but I'm sure whatever they recommended would have been very expensive, and I had a huge impact on people. Fortunately, Congress in the 1970s did react to the global cooling thing, and nothing happened. Uh, now we're in a situation right now in which I don't think we've had any horrible things happen because of Houston. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the That's one degree temperature. Um, I don't like to to deal with everybody's question, but I, I will say I did, said, have, to read, I did have to read this morning. You said a lot of something degrees. brought something up. I I did read this morning that this was the most serious hurricane in many, many years. Now, we went almost an historically long period of time without bad hurricanes. Well, that to me is an indication of good thing. We went a very, very long period of time, <coughs> almost an historically long period of time without a big hurricane. Now we have a big hurricane, and people are going to say, ah, 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 we have a big hurricane, ignoring the fact we've always had big hurricanes. We went a long period of time right. without. But you're also aware that like, the new place are all over there? Um, and that has changed? The warming of the, the, warming of the oceans? You think that's why we haven't had hurricanes? Uh, yes, that's why we haven't had hurricanes. Well, I mean, it, it seems to me whenever something bad happens, but you know, happens, they blame you're the for climate change. And I do think over time, you know, we have droughts, all the back to the middle of the planet, good things, bad things. I don't think we have enough information to spend billions or trillions of dollars. Really? Really? Well, not to waste time with the NASA. Well, I... Governmental... Uh, I mean, so... Uh, it, I mean, scientists who don't... Like, it's, it's that big a deal. So, like I said, I think rather than exactly. spend trillions of dollars, when the United States, I think, compared to other countries, has already done so much, um, and make life more expensive to people who sometimes can't afford to have life a lot more expensive. I mean, it's an easy thing that people are wealthy to say, you know, I don't care if my electric bill goes up X amount every month because for them it's no big deal. Also, that news but, story was debunked years ago. Years ago. Years and years ago. The news was debunked. The one you're talking about. The one you right. referred to in the 70s. Right, well, it turned out not to be true. But I mean, scientists were quoted in there, I'm sure, you know, intelligent Yeah, people. but even at the time, there weren't 97% of the scientists saying the world was getting a little bit. Well, something Okay. <laughs> All right. 